Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and your day is going good. Today we are going to solve our question number 3 that is at page number 8 of our skill booster pack. This question is about learning skills. Okay, how we learn something. The question number 3 is in the following sentence indicate whether the words within bracket are used as gerund or participle. Okay, what we are required to do, we are required to identify whether the words in the brackets are gerunds and partic participles before going to solve first we will discuss these terms and then with the help of these concepts we will solve our question on remedy packs okay, firstly we will discuss that what are present participles and how they are formed okay here we are having a topic about present participle you have seen many examples of ing form of verb being used as adjectives okay when we use verb with ing as adjective and then they are known as present participles for example the setting sun painted the sky red here setting sun set is basically setting is basically verb but it is uh, adding some meaning to the noun so it is present part participle okay the next we are having is past participle the past participle form of verb may end in prefixes d e d e n n o t we are we are having these prefixes when the verb end with these prefixes they form the verb as adjective for example the buried tree was found by some children here buried is basically a verb but it is acting as adjective and adding some meaning to the noun tree box so it is past participle and it is ending with ed as we have discussed earlier the next is his clothes were dirty and torn here torn uh, is basically jise hum urdu mein kehte hain phate hue to जब हम वर्ब टोर के साथ एन लगाएंगे प्रीफिक्स एंड में तो वो एक बेसिकली एडजेक्टिव बन जाएगा और किस में ऐड करेगा मीनिंग वर्ब फॉर्म में नेक्स्ट वी हैव जेरेंड जेरेंड आर बेसिकली द आई एन जी फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब मे ऑल्सो बी यूज एज नाउन ओके दीज आर ऑल्सो नोन एज वर्बल नाउन वैन वी चेंज द कैटेगरी ऑफ वर्ब इन टू नाउन बाई एडिंग आई एन जी एट द एंड ऑफ वर्ब इट बिकम जेरेंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिट वैन विल एड आई एन जी एट द एंड इट विल बिकम सिटिंग एंड इट विल एक्ट एज नाउन एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इट एक्ट एज सब्जेक्ट एज वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल रीडिंग इज अ गुड हैबिट वी यूज टू यूज दिस वर्ड रीड एज वर्ब बट वैन वी एड आई एन जी एट द एंड इट विल बिकम नाउन एंड द कैटेगरी विल बी चेंज Now we will solve our question number थ्री Okay, we will identify either these वर्ड in the bracket are gerund or participles. Okay, the first sentence is the frozen dish was difficult to cook. As we have discussed earlier that when we uh, add e n n d t with verb form, they form past participle. So this is past participle. Okay, running is good for health. As we have discussed earlier, when we change the category of verb into noun by adding ing, it act as gerund. So running is good for health is gerund. Okay, the next is breaking a dog's seldom bites. Here, they this is also gerund because here verb is acting as noun, and we have added ing at the end of bark and it become noun. Okay, next we have it was very interesting book. Okay, as we have discussed earlier, when we Add adjectives with ing and at the end of verb it become present participle. So this is present participle as interesting is adjective and it is adding meaning to the book. The next we have I read the horrifying story today. Here this is basically present participle as we have used a horrifying adjective with ing to form a verb. So horrifying is adding meaning to the story that is noun. So it is present participle. Okay students I hope you will get some help from this video to solve your question accordingly thank you